When one of your customers changes their name or merges with another customer, you'll need to update their records in your accounting system to reflect these changes. In SageMass 90 and Mass 200, making these changes is an easy task and importantly, the customer's history is retained. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to renumber and merge customers in SageMass 90 and Mass 200. We're going to walk through two scenarios. A customer name change where Hillsborough Service Center changes their name to Quick Service Center and the merging of two customers with Custom Craft Products acquiring AutoCraft accessories. Before we begin, a few important details. You should make a backup of your data, you should update all data entry files, and all users should be logged out of the system. So now we're ready to jump right in and get started. First, we'll review the customer records that we're going to be changing so that we can later verify that their history has been properly retained. To do this, we'll go over to the Task menu tree, Expand Modules, and select Accounts Receivable, Main, Customer Inquiry. Using the lookup, we'll highlight Hillsborough Service Center and click Select. On the Main tab, note that their address is on Union Street, and clicking over to the Invoices tab, note that they have an open balance of 2902.86 and nine invoices are displayed. Now we'll click OK to clear the screen and review the next customer, Custom Craft Products. So using the lookup, we'll highlight their record and hit Select. Clicking over to the main tab, note that their address is 1007 West 1st Street in Santa Ana, California. Now moving to the Invoices tab, we can see that they have an open balance of 1944643 and there are seven invoices. Let's click OK and review our final customer, AutoCraft Accessories. Again, using the lookup, we'll highlight AutoCraft Accessories and hit Select. On the main tab, note that their address is listed on Fernando Street in Newport Beach. Clicking over to Invoices, note their balance of 2408402 and there are eight invoices. Now we'll click OK to clear the screen and then close the window. Now that we've documented the customer data, we can move forward with the changes. To do this, we'll go over to the Task menu tree and under Accounts Receivable, we'll click Utilities and then Delete and Change Customers. Notice that we have two tabs, Delete and Change. The Delete tab is used to permanently remove a customer along with their associated files or to delete associated files only. We don't recommend using the delete utility because it will delete historical data. Consequently, when running historical reports, the amounts will differ from previous runs and may no longer balance with your general ledger data. Accordingly, the delete function will not be covered in this tutorial. Now let's click over to the Change tab. In the Starting Customer Number field, we'll open the lookup highlight Hillsborough Service Center, and then hit Select. Notice that the ending customer number defaulted to the same starting customer. Moving to the new customer number field, we'll type 01 QUICK. In our example, Custom Craft Products acquired AutoCraft accessories, so on the next line, we'll merge AutoCraft into Custom Craft Products. We'll open the starting customer number lookup, highlight AutoCraft Accessories, and hit Select. Again, it defaults into the ending customer number as well. Moving to the New Customer Number field, we'll once again open the lookup, highlight Custom Craft Products, and hit Select. Now we'll click Proceed. We're prompted to print the Delete and Change Customer listing, and we'll click Yes. For demonstration purposes, we'll preview rather than print the report. Looking closely, we can see that customer 01 Hill SB has been renamed to 01 Quick and 02 Auto CR has been merged with 02 Custom. So now let's close the window and we'll select Yes to initiate processing of the changes, and this will take a few moments to complete. And when finished, we're prompted to print a log of the changes and we'll choose Yes. And let's hit Preview 
and this report should be identical to the listing we reviewed earlier, and a quick scan confirms this. Let's close the window, and we're prompted to continue and clear the delete and change customer entries, and we'll click yes. Now let's review the customer records to verify the changes. To do this, we'll go over to the task menu tree and click customer maintenance. Using the lookup, we'll highlight Hillsboro Service Center and hit select. Notice that the customer number, which was previously 01 Hill, is now 01 Quick. Although the customer number changed, we still need to update the name, so we'll highlight Hillsboro and type Quick. And overlaying a snapshot of this screen prior to the change, notice the address is correctly shown as Union Street. Clicking over to the Invoices tab, we'll again overlay a snapshot of this screen prior to the change, and you can see that the balance before and after remains the same, 290286, and the same nine invoices are displayed. So now let's click Accept to clear the screen. Returning to the lookup, notice that AutoCraft Accessories is no longer listed since it was merged into CustomCraft Products. Accordingly, we'll highlight CustomCraft Products and hit Select. Now let's verify the information. Clicking over to the main tab and overlaying the original information, you can see that CustomCraft's address remains unchanged. Moving to invoices, notice that their balance is 435345 after merging of the records. And looking at the original invoice information for AutoCraft accessories and CustomCraft products, you can see that this balance is the sum of their original balances. And with the changes now verified, that completes our demonstration. So to recap, in SageMass 90 and Mass 200, customer numbers can be easily changed and merged, and importantly, historical data is retained. Give us a call for assistance with this or any other feature in your SageMass 90 or Mass 200 system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.